Hi, this is Tax Collects, and I'm here to announce that the next version, version 2 of the Fallen Earth Character Planner, will be coming out real soon. I'm here just to give you a quick rundown of all the new changes and somewhat of a video tutorial guide uh, to show you how to install it and navigate your way through some of the new features. So let me just begin and uh, start the uh, setup file here, and I'm going to be moving some windows over this is my second screen right here um, just to keep it clean uh, the installation is much quicker now uh, and I also included an end user license agreement so please read that make sure you agree with everything um, there's actually a lot more in here than I thought would be in here uh, but it's important that you agree to that and know what you're agreeing to so I'm just gonna click through say next uh, this is really where you want to install it uh, you're, you may run into problems if you don't install it here. This is where I put all of my tools, any utilities or programs that are not uh, Windows. Uh, I put them in this area, and it's, it might not break something if you, uh, if you put it somewhere else, but this is where I recommend you put it. Uh, it's just going to work out better for you in the long run. Uh, but then again, you know, if you don't want to put it there, that's your prerogative. And if something goes wrong, let me know and I'll try and fix it make it work for everybody and I've already <laughs> I already have a, a version installed right here um, and this is another warning that I've programmed in yes I want to overwrite it yes I want to install and then it's gonna go through the installation process again uh, la last one was a lot slower um, for some reason it just did not want to go very fast so this is asking you know, do you really want to do this? And I hope you'd say yes. And it'll continue to install everything much, much quicker than last time, which I'm super excited about because I thought I was going to have to use a different uh, installation program. Um, you can view the README file and launch it at the same time, and that's fine if you want to. I'm just going to unclick this and drag this over. These are all new features, so check them out. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. Uh, I hope that it really lives up to the standards of any of the other character planners that are out there. But why read it when I can show you through this nifty little icon? So cl double click just like any other Windows um, icon will open the executable. Uh, I'm going to go over some of the things that uh, right off the bat you might notice that it's a little bit wider than last time. I, I added a from about here to here in space just because I needed to get these icons in and uh, it should still run on on a minimum resolution for like a CRT monitor or something uh, if anyone's ever even still using those but uh, it should be able to to run on there uh, without any problems but uh, you'll notice that there are the icons from the game are on here too and I got permission uh, from a GM to use these and as long as I am stating that I am using them <laughs> from the game and they're not mine these are not mine let's settle it right now they're not mine and uh, I'm using them with permission and I'm also stating in other places that they're not mine and I'm not selling them so let's move on uh, you might notice that um, there are no more buttons for the stats you can't click up and down uh, well you can on these particular areas and they'll go up and down by one but there are no dedicated buttons they're all scroll bars horizontal scroll bars they just worked better and it cut out a ton of validation uh, for me and I think it looks better if all of them have progress bars attached to them so that you can see at a glance where you've actually put the points instead of having to read um, the numbers um, but uh, so now that I've added a couple things what I think I'll do is uh, show you one of the cool new buttons. If you decide, I don't like anything that I have just done, you can click on this button and it'll reset the entire form, including mutations. Uh, also, you'll notice that the maximum value for bonus AP is at 40, and when you increase your player level, it will go up uh, as needed. Uh, that wasn't there was a bug that stopped it from working correctly in the first version and that's been fixed. Now, um, you can 
put the amount of uh, bonus AP in that you should only be able to put in. Also, uh, say you, uh, I don't know really why you'd want to do this, but I had to put it in there just for some testing. So you want to max out all of the stats. Um, you can do that, and everything will get maxed out, but obviously your AP available is going to shoot through the roof and to the negative, or shoot through the floor into the negative, unless you're upside down. So, let me clear this again. Um, the greatest feature that uh, was really lacking in the, the first version is the ability to import and export a build. So if I just adjust a few levels here um, and I go to export build, it's going to find, this is what I was talking about earlier during installation, this particular folder is where the program is going to look by default to save your character builds, um, though it should adapt if the folder doesn't exist. And um, I spelled character wrong here earlier, but I'm just going to put in this uh, test real quick and we'll save it. And I will find it over here and drag it over in just a moment so I can show you what it actually looks like in a, um, a text editor. which I have to drag over again and this is just an XML file you can actually manually add all the information you want and throw it in there however if you have like your level one and you put in 65 dexterity um, that's not gonna work there's validation in the form that's not gonna let you do that but generally if you want to mess around in here everything's labeled um, fairly logically so you can do that if you want but the real important thing is is how do I load something if I get maybe a file from a friend or um, you know transporting it to another computer then you can uh, import build and again it looks in this location click on the file open uh, but you know, I didn't clear this first so it probably just not gonna make much sense let's retry that and there you go and it's gonna it should operate just like a you know save and uh, load feature. Uh, one more thing, let me go to the about product info. This is a little bit newer and fancy. It's got information, a disclaimer, basically saying I don't own everything in this. And uh, here's the, the license. This is just the basic license uh, where you can read everything and a couple of links to help you out and the basic information. So enough of that. One of the cool features that I was working on um, is in the crafting and info section. Uh, you'll notice that uh, there's some more information here. But the character balance section is one of the things I'm really proud of. And um, it actually might not be very good at the moment. Uh, I might have to tweak it depending on the feedback that I get. But I think I've got it fairly close um, from the get-go. So what I'm going to do is uh, clear the current build and I'm gonna maybe uh, go up a few levels here I'm gonna spend some points in endurance and strength and let me come back over here and put some armor use and dodge in maybe some rifle skill and oh, what the hey we'll put in a mutation so once you've made a character build and you've got some information there uh, and you kinda wanna see before you actually start building this in the game you wanna see well where have I really invested points this is where this tool comes into play you click on this button it's gonna calculate um, the points that you invested and the percentage of points that you have invested and it's gonna look at all of these key features on the left offense defense support healing finance trade skills health stamina gamma and mutations and it's going to say, you know, it's going to look at all these point values and say, how much have you spent out of this value right here uh, on offensive skills, defensive skills, support skills? You get the gist. And then of those points, what is, what is the percentage of points that you've spent out of what you have spent? And that way you can say, well, you know, I'd really like to put in some healing. And so I'm going to boost my empathic a bit. And then you'll have to recalculate the points and you can see that 
there's some points invested in there and it's, it's not that high but you know it's a decent amount and hopefully this tool will help uh, probably new players uh, figure out where they either want to balance or focus obviously a completely well balanced character is going to be no good in PvP um, because they're, you're just missing out on some skills and uh, you're just kind of not effective at anything but semi-effective at everything but someone who has a PvE character uh, you know their primary crafter this is going to be helpful uh, hopefully and so I'm interested to see well, what the comments are on this but anyway that's pretty much it um, I made a couple adjustments to the user interface you might have noticed but uh, for the most part the biggest changes were the import and export feature and the character balance uh, as well as a couple bug fixes so I really hope this is something you are gonna really enjoy it's gonna be really helpful um, download it share it with your friends um, overall enjoy <laughs>